You don't need to buy anybody's love. You don't need to beg anybody to be your friends. You don't need to join a gang or a family. You don't need to do all that. Just be yourself and let people like you for you. And that's where I made a mistake. I got involved, my mom died in 2006. I lost my son in 2008. I got on drugs, I looked it for comfort in that way, and it didn't happen. I end up getting time, doing time, and now I'm trying to get it back. People make mistakes, you know, and, and you deserve a second chance. Right. Sure is. How's it going? My name is Dave Cutlip, and I am owner of Southside Tattoo. So this guy is. If you have a gang or racist related tattoo, we will help you cover it up or get rid of it. Before, which doesn't mean anything to me, but it must mean something to them. But I know somebody I can ask. Yep. I had a guy come in here and he had gang tattoos and he had them on his face. And uh, he'd been out for a while. He got married, had a kid and you know and, and had a great job and how people followed him around and I really could see the hurt in his eyes that you know that that tattoo was you know bothering him and and, and maybe even causing a hindrance to what he was trying to do and uh, that bothers me, you know, that I couldn't help them because I, I do like to help people. And my wife, she said, why don't we put a post? Maybe we can help a few people around Baltimore. And we started getting, you know, almost immediately actually, people uh, acquiring about what we were doing and if we could help them. I personally have been just covering up tattoos. It's been a, a couple gang gang related tattoos like uh, DMI, which is Dead Man Incorporated, another Maryland prison gang. Uh, I've done swastikas, um, iron crosses. I covered up a Confederate flag, but that had a noose underneath of it. Yeah, I mean, that's a whole bunch of actually scribble to be honest with yeah, you like there's, there's, there's it, like, no structure to it the sad thing about prison is that they're segregated to begin with and and every single one of the people that I've you know helped have told me that. So they believe that the white people have to hang out with the white people and, and the black people hang out with the black people. The person that's coming in today has a botched cover-up of a gang tattoo that I'm actually going to fix. 
We, you know, we're going to do some flowers and cover up some, some bad decisions that this person made. I want to start, you know, a new leaf in life, turn my life over, you know, back to the way it was before I got into the street life. Hanging out with different uh, type of people, gangs, violence, you're not going to get anywhere. You either end up in prison for the rest of your life or you end up dead. Or you can, you know, walk away, turn your life around and do the right thing. And that's what I'm trying to do here. People need to understand that it's not all what it's cracked up to be. You know what I mean? Y'all think it's cool, and in reality, you're by yourself. My family is the only people that stood by me, and they were the only ones that I hurt. Not nobody else, not nobody on this case. You know what I mean? I hurt my family, my daughter, my dad, my sisters, my brothers. It's not fun to have to look through a glass to see your child or your mother or your father. It's not what it's all made up to be. You know, they tell you, oh, we got you. We'll look out for you or we'll do this, we'll do that. We'll make sure your kid's okay. Nothing, no letter, no money orders, no nothing. You're by yourself and that's where you'll end up. Either in the grave or in prison for the rest of your life. So getting these, these tattoos covered up, today, I'm starting over. When I walk out of here, I'm a total different person. It's gonna be a different scenario. As I'm tattooing them, they'll talk to me and, and they tell me things. I think 90% of them were in jail. They had to do what they had to do to survive while in jail, you know, so they got tattoos. They joined a gang. You know, we've all made bad decisions, every single one of us, you know. They've all been sad stories, but the end result was actually every single one of them has been happy. They've been extremely grateful. We started getting people from all over, you know, the country and England and Ireland too, actually. People wanting help. So started out with one person and now, um, it's definitely at least nationwide for right now, and it's going to be, hopefully, that would be awesome if it was global. I feel great, man, that I'm, uh, you know, helping people change at least one tattoo at a time, and it's, I think it's awesome. It's actually very fulfilling. It's probably one of the best things I've ever done.